Today I'm going to show you something really crazy. So there is a way to connect the index controllers that are still considered the best VR controllers ever to connect to a MetaQuest headset. For example, Quest 3, Quest 3S, even Quest 2 and Quest 1, and then play PC VR games with them. So many thanks to Golem Berlin from the community for the tip and the guide. So I will show you all the requirements you need and how to connect the controllers to the Quest. As always, all the important links are in the description below. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! So guys, first I want to show you the requirements to connect the index controllers to the Meta Quest. So what you of course need is a lighthouse system. That means you need the two index controllers, of course, <laughs> then you need minimum two base stations that are the, the black boxes that you are hanging on the wall or on the tripod or so in the opposite corners of the room. And of course you also need a headset. It doesn't just work with the index controllers and the base stations because the headset has to manage everything uh, and, and the controllers have to be connected to the headset. Now that's, uh, um, uh, you need it. So for example, I use the index. Uh, the index comes with the uh, index controller so you can use the Valve index. But you can also use an old Vive system, Vive Pro or so if you have the index controllers there. Um, any PC VR headset that's connected to Lighthouse. So what you then also need is Steam Link connection for the Quest or if you prefer virtual desktop then you can use virtual desktop as well. By the way in the description via my coupon list you get 10% off virtual desktop. Then you need another tool, the OpenVR Space Calibrator. It's in the description below. So what you then have to do. So the index is connected or any or the wife or whatever is connected to your PC, right? And the room is calibrated and the room is set up and everything works. So what you then do is remove the display port cable, remove it from your PC. Only the display port cable. Le leave the USB and power in. Uh, if you have the, the Vive, I think there is a small setup box, you have to push the button so that it's switched on, but also remove the display port cable. Only USB and power. Yeah, that's very important. So, and then you have to turn on the index controllers with those small buttons, just turn them on. If they are not connected to the index, um, then you, you can um, just go to Steam VR and then say, uh, pair controllers and then you have to push and hold the B and the system button until it beeps and then the, the uh, LED gets green and then it's connected. Do the same with the other controllers. So after that, if the controllers are switched on, start Steam VR, okay? And then you should see the blue symbols, the index controllers, the Quest, yeah, uh, it's very important that you already activated Steam Link or Virtual Desktop and you see the Steam VR home environment. Yeah, with the Quest 3, of course. You, see, you have to see that. So then, as I said, start Steam VR. And um, now you will notice that the position of the index controllers are totally off. They are like three meters away or inside your wall or something. And that's why we need the open space calibrator. So if everything is connected, Quest 3 is switched on, index controllers are switched on, you see the blue symbols in, in SteamVR, then open the sp uh, open VR space calibrator. That you, inst you have to install it first and then open it. And then there will be a window where um, you see on the left side, you see the MetaQuest controllers. Yeah, and on the right side you see the index controllers. And what you're gonna do now, it's, it's very strange. You have to hold both controllers uh, for the same hand, for uh, right meta controller, right index controller. Hold them in the same hand, like, like this. Yeah, hold them like this. The Quest controller in front and the index back because you have to wear, during the calibration, you have to wear the Quest and to look at the 
meta quest controllers because otherwise they are not tracked they are tracked with the with the cameras with the index controllers it doesn't matter because it's tracked everywhere so put your quest on uh, start open space calibrator and then on the left side for this case on the left side choose the right meta quest controller and on the right side of the tool choose the right index controllers yeah for the right hand so hold them in in your hands like this and then Click on Start Calibration. What you're gonna do is uh, watch the uh, uh, point your head to the MetaQuest controller and then do an paint an eight in, in your room. Do it as long as the tool is calibrating. There are two like uh, a percentage uh, and and uh, after that it says okay do do paint an eight because it needs some tracking points. So after that it's calibrated. Then next do it with the left controllers. Hold the MetaQuest controllers in your left hand and also the index controllers like this. Like this. Yeah? And then the opposite in, inside the tool. On the left side, choose the left meta controller, and on the right side, choose the left index controller. After that, again, put the quest on, click on start calibration, and then do the eight again. Like this. While you watch with the Quest 3 on your Quest controller, like this. And then, when you did everything wrong, <laughs> everything right, then, <laughs> then, oh my God, then it's uh, calibrated. And then, what you're gonna do, you can put the Quest controllers away, but they need to be inside your play area, otherwise you will see the, the blue walls, and that's disturbing. So for example, uh, my, um, my uh, office desk is inside my play area. I will put it on my office desk like this. And then you can leave the quest controllers there and then use the index controllers. They, are, they should be calibrated perfect now. Then you can use the quest three, uh, start a game, and then you can use the index controllers with the quest. And of course, I want to show it to you now with my favorite game, Half-Life Elix. So we will play Half-Life Elix wireless with the Quest 3 and the index controllers. That's insane. Let's see how it works. Okay guys, and if you did everything right, look at this here. I come in front of the camera. You see the index controllers here with my Quest and it's perfectly tracked, of course. Yeah, even the, the grips, you see that? It works. That is so cool. Now we can play on the Quest 3 wireless. As you can see, I can turn around here without, without cable. Yeah. And also with the best controllers on the market with the index controllers. That's so awesome. So for example, I can show you, I, I, hold, my, um, I hold my controller behind my back. I hope you can see it. Yeah? So the, the Quest cannot see the controllers and it's still tracked. You see that? I hope it's visible in the video. I don't know. This is not possible with the Quest controllers. So they are tracked behind my back um, and that's the best tracking ever with the Lighthouse system. So absolutely amazing. Also, of course, everything grip button, everything works. Yeah. Bam! Uh, everything is tracked very, very well, very precise, of course. And the power's out. Looks like we're taking a stair. Come on. Woohoo! Damn! Yeah, and of course you can also uh, change the weapons here. Yeah. Some. Uh oh. Uh, I can also reload. No, wait. Oh, I, I don't have ammunition. Oh, give me the other weapon. Give me the other weapon. This one. Woo! Yeah, you see that? Now it works. Ha! How cool is that? How cool is that? Ah! <laughs> it's too heavy. So. It's absolutely amazing to play this game with a Quest 3 wireless and with those nice controllers. There's nothing better to, to play it. Yeah, it's, it's so cool. And uh, yeah, most PCBR headsets are uh, uh, with uh, cable, 
and now you can play it uh, wireless. So the thing is, you definitely need a system, uh, a light, a complete lighthouse system. So you cannot just buy um, the base stations and the index controllers alone. That doesn't work. You definitely need a full system, including the headset. That means, for example, you. Uh, you have the Valve Index. It's a very old headset, it has bad resolution. So uh, if you want to change to the Quest 3, then you can still use your index controllers now. And this was only an example. You, you, uh, you can also uh, play other games, of course. I, I mean, I showed you Half-Life Alyx because it's my favorite game, but uh, yeah, you can play it with every other game as well. And that's absolutely amazing, right? It's so precise. I mean, look at this here. Absolutely amazing. And all the buttons, of course, also work. Uh, we can also only use the <laughs> grip buttons. I mean, there's no better controllers for uh, <laughs> for Half-Life Alyx. I mean, the controllers are developed for Half-Life Alyx. <laughs> So better, there's nothing better you can, you can play. It. So guys, um, thanks again to uh, Golden Berlin for sending me that. And I'm very sorry that uh, I took so long to produce the video. He sent it to me uh, so long ago. I'm sorry for that, but I had a lot of stuff to do and now I could show it finally. In the description, you can find everything, uh, so what you need. Also, if you don't have the Quest 3, you can go via my coupon and get 30 bucks game credit and so on. And also this space calibration and everything you will find in the description. Also, you, you get 10% off a virtual desktop uh, in, in the description, uh, in my coupon list. Yeah, and guys, if you need a, if you want, if you don't have the index controllers yet, and you want to play uh, with the Quest 3 and this index controllers, perhaps buy a used system um, on on uh, in, the, in the internet. Yeah, for example, a very old uh, um, index system, perhaps even where, where the headset is broken, it, it still works. Yeah, um, so at le at least you have to disconnect. Display port, connect USB and connect power, and then it should work. Or buy a Vive system where they uh, where the index controllers are included, or something like that. Yeah, uh, for a low price, and then it's really nice. I can tell you that these controllers are insane. So, I hope you like it. Yeah. Also check out my other videos, and give me a thumbs up <laughs> like this. You see that? <laughs> and uh, see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wudu.de